Keep and maintenance on my winch on the front of my Defender 110. Wireless winch controllers actually built by Super Winch themselves. So it's, and you've got this natty little key fob here, which you can see. With uh, either you've got the uh, winch in or the winch out. Very simple to use. And then you've got a uh, this is the antenna for the system. Very good antenna that they use. Very small, very easy to use. What I'm going to do is I will set that up in a moment. And I've already started to tuck the wiring away really up on the far side there. And you've got length cable. This actually goes to the winch itself and connects up to the solenoids. What Super Winch do, they supply you with the right plug for it. But unfortunately that was for the EP9. Whereas I've got an EP9.5. So unfortunately I've had to chop the plug off and I'll wire these in a bit and you'll see onto the contactor. But strange enough, this bit here. I've had to buy a new one. As um, you might have seen in one of my tweets earlier, I have problems with vibration fatigue and I managed to snap all three of the lugs off here. So this bit here, that is the uh, control box that it all plugs into. You can see it all comes with decent, solid, really nice plugs. All waterproof and everything else. This is designed to be mounted outside, but I will mount this inside the cab. I was looking at a few places and I probably will stick it down on the cubby box just about there. So on and off and on there. again I've got my winch out or winch in and it'll be straight to hand easy to grab when I want to use the winch from inside the vehicle well the same or else while I'm at the front just finally swinging it away I can just switch it on and then I can just control it through this handy little key what we've done I'm going to mount the controller box set up there very convenient not exactly in the way either so it's all very good you see I've run the cable routing it goes behind the matting it runs up the bulkhead it runs inside and what that I've managed to do, it appears, you probably just can't, can't see that, just in behind the heater there, where the control pipes are, just behind there, there's a rubber grommet, comes up the bulkhead, it then runs straight down, where it goes into the convolute tubing, it comes out, goes all the way along the top of the chassis rail, comes out here, comes along, and then comes up here, this is to my old contactor. You see where the three pin, where the spade should have been? They're the ones that fatigued and broke off, so hopefully this doesn't happen again. But then, yeah, this is just a little bit of twin flat I use for pulling through, because it's easier to try and pull it through than try and push the wires up through. A little tip for you. And then, what we're going to do is we'll replace these now, I'll undo all these, and I'll put the uh, new contactor in place. So, okay, so now we've got an update. It works, as you can see, a little light. I said, I want to winch in, winch in, I want to winch out, winches out. So that's all works from that side. And we'll come round the front. What we've got, after I do my little glue job in there, after that, I'll decide to fall to bits on me. Solenoids all wired up there with the wires from that, and also the hand controller. So I've still got the hand controller as a backup. And then I want to use the old remote control. So winch out, winch in. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. That's a wide in, now I'm going to tie this all back up. I'm going to put my uh, rather amazing laser lamps LED bar back on, get this all sorted and we'll spool the rope out nicely and perhaps we'll get to test this tomorrow, who knows? Hi, so there we are. There's a tree in the centre there. There's a few branches that one we've got to take down today. Should be a nice little test for my freshly uh, rebuilt winch that I've got. Well, I did all the solenoids and all the contacts yesterday and I put the wireless system on.
So there we have it. The tree is on the floor. It was a bit of a pull that last one, especially when I decided to pull it off the stump just to get it clear. She definitely was working hard then, but that is just tribute to the super winch. They really are fantastic winches. I said, um, everybody's got their preferences, but to me, super winch or worn, best ones on the market. So I've got to tidy up now. I've got my stuff here. Just about to take all the back anchor down. And um, that's it for me. We managed to install the freedom switch. You saw me using it. It's absolutely fantastic. Again, a, a good wireless controller is always handy. It gets you out of the danger zone. You ain't anywhere near the trouble if the rope should break or anything like that. Always, um, always the best thing is to stand well back because even Dyneema ropes will whip slightly. People say they fall straight to the floor. They don't, especially when you're pulling really, really hard. They will snap and they will recoil somehow. And you've still got lots of metal work flying around. So really basic safety tips. Again, good gloves. Don't fall by four ones always the best but i said no absolutely fantastic what else can what else can i say but i said if you enjoyed the video leave a like rating drop a comment down below and i'll see you again next time